getting started. Link. Lonk. Lunk. Lank. Just gonna let it chill on the screen. Uh, so this is a horror game. Um, kind of. The guy I watch play it uh, starts treating it as horror, and it's just again. It, um, its description was eh, it's kind of a light comedy. I'm glad I didn't play this during Halloween. Uh, my attitude to it is. It's scary if you want it to be. If you stop taking it seriously, it stops being scary. It just starts being funny. And I could... Uh, and I can just not take it seriously, so... One second while I set up my chat so I can actually see what you guys are saying, if you guys are saying anything. Uh, also keep in mind that uh, if I sound a little funny, if I sound a bit quiet, uh, there's a reason for that. Uh, that reason is called my mic is busted and I'm using my camera. <laughs> no, such a good reason. Yes, I want to go to my channel from my own channel. That totally makes sense. Okay. Uh, no, no, I actually... What can we say? I'll let them perish. Okay. So, we're playing this find somewhere on my desk to put down my chat. Uh, it's not where I asked for it. I'm going to reorganize things real quick. There we go. Right. Uh, hopefully that won't cover up anything. That won't cover up anything important. Uh, okay. NH1 Prologue. Yeah, that's the thing. They divided this game into two parts. But they didn't need to. just down the road and um I guess they must be out with their life on well um that's someone's cellar I don't need to be on that spilling jam on the floor. Like I said, this is a horror game. Another shovel. Just, just... 
This gas is not compatible with my car. Fuck that gas. Um, well, now that we know that nobody's home, maybe they want to get to five or plus. <laughs> Yeah, no, there are, there are two ways to make this game less fun. First way is that you don't take it seriously. The second way is that you sing Queen while you're playing. The lights. Love it. Well, I'll keep going. Maybe they'll... Uh, what is it with these guys and their jam? Uh, I'll keep going. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll find some, uh, some gas. Gyration. You're right, because it's a breaking point. That's a good Also, this is the first. This is the prologue. This door is locked. This wall. It looks fresh. See? That's a Half-Life 2 zombie with the head crab removed. It's clearly dead, which means if I do this, it'll wake up and I'll have to do it again. No? It's not gonna make me... Also, he got chopped off while on the hook in Weaver. Who does that? The game sounds loud and I'm quiet. Uh... Okay, let me just tweak the settings a bit. Uh, it's about minus 21 decibels. Tell me if that sounds better or worse. It's a family poster. A portrait. Uh, in here there's a health kit and some bullets. See? <laughs> Bullets! Finally! Okay then. For when you want to get out of bed in a hurry, use the brand new Exploder Bed! Only available at the pharmacy counter. Oh, wow. There we go. This house is really enthusiastic with its jam. Like, seriously. I didn't jump. I didn't jump. Ah, more bullets. See, you only get 45 bullets and it's a 9 shooter, so... I'm still getting used to the dynamic of try not to save load. Wait, to, ah! The fuck was that? Whoa! Um. Floor tile! What? Ah! I'm faking. Yeah, the gun's pretty powerful, which is probably why they don't give you too much ammo for it. Oh no. Oh, hey, new gun. Did I 
mention how much this game loves to try and screw with you? Operative word is try. Shotgun! Don't shoot shotgun. More gyrating corpses. Uh, they're really getting a good kick out of that, um, that boom. And that, um, Half-Life. And that Half-Life 1 short, sharp, string scare thing. That door is locked. See? The shotgun's pretty powerful, I'm just a crap shot. Hitting the torso instead of the head. There's the key. Note, a, a conspicuous absence of anything in the hallway. Picks up the key. See? Powerful shotgun, I'm just a crap shot. It's pretty good. Maybe the game could be just a bit louder. Too much of the girl for it to be creepy. Not that the girl was particularly creepy in the first place. Uh... What? What the... That was anticlimactic. Now this I feel is this pit I feel was pretty clever because the source engine doesn't handle player reflections, <laughs> so that was a pretty good ass covering maneuver, making the mirror smash when he walked in front of it. No, this door doesn't have a handle. Nice try, game. I did like how it's a. Uh, I can't even see where she was then. I like how it's a box of antique shotguns, and I'm holding this modern one with iron sights and shit. Ah, oh. oh, damn it! I need to stop doing that. Front loading is strong in this one. Um, I'd like to point out, this this one loves to layer on the horror tropes real thick. Like, ridiculously. Put ah, one sec. One sec. Who? Who blocks a ladder with a freaking chest of drawers? Chest of drawers falls through. Jump scare. Called it. Pistol's pretty good too, but I'm not gonna waste the pistol ammo on these things when I can do just as well with the shotgun. Same goes with the 35.7. The 35.7 does more damage than the. does about on par damage with the shotgun, but doesn't have the range drop off that the shotgun does. Fall! The shotgun has more ammo, both in total and in and loaded. They give you more ammo for the shotgun. You can only hold two boxes of shotgun ammo before you run out in any case. See, here's the thing, I should know that these are all coming, uh... I like how they put up the painting on the blood splatters. Yeah, that's a little... And this is me practicing for the techniques later in the game. 
Later in the game, it becomes more economical to stop worrying about which gun you're using and just use a gun. See? Because uh, they're using the Half-Life 2 engine. And Half-Life 2 default setup means that if you fire enough shots with another gun and hit a target, it reloads all your other guns that aren't in your hands. Which means you can just alternate. You can't escape from Nightmare House. I don't want to. That was the best five minutes of my life. <laughs> Nightmare House, the prologue. And now the next one gets too entirely crushed in the horror cliches. Continuing in Nightmare House 2. Nightmare House, the prologue. Da, 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 uh, it's weird, it feels like I've skipped a game somehow and I haven't. That was a subtle loading screen. 80 cents. Good 80 cents. I'll be quiet now. Let you enjoy the good Eddie sit. Same as it always was, isn't it? The mind just keeps sending you back again. It's interesting how you can find comfort in any familiar situation. Even a familiar nightmare. Wake up. It's time for the real nightmare to begin. And that was totally cliche. Oh look, padded cell! Horror trope! <laughs> I'm impressed I could even lie down in here. I don't think I could. I was just sort of leaning on the wall, wasn't I? Yeah, like that. Chapter 1. Rebirth. And if you get what she said? We're going to be hearing a lot more from her. <laughs> I can't sprint yet, by the way. They've taken my sprint off me and my flashlight. But there's a flashlight in there and the button that must have triggered the lockdown. Here's Gravish. Yeah, and you can sprint now that you have a flashlight. Huh? Yeah? Who, me? If you want to get out of here, then do exactly as I say. I know you have a lot of questions, but for now it's absolutely vital that you get here as quickly as you can. First, we're going to need to get you armed. Head to the cafeteria, then to the kitchen. You'll find a surprise waiting for you there. You'll need it. Thanks? Now, some of the... Was that blood there earlier? Some of the, the horror automatic things here um, are randomized to an extent, so there might be some things that I haven't actually seen while playing this game, so we might get some surprises. Like that. guy's shoes. So, I do like the person on the PA, just saying. Everything goes sharp grayscale. So, what are we going to find in the cafeteria? Like, a knife or something? No, a freaking axe! Oh, the door shut behind me. Let me just... Saw that coming. Come on. 
Did you really think you could catch me out with something that cliche? The game loves to do that to you, by the way. Put you in a room with mobs, make sure that the door won't open if the mobs are still alive, and then have the mobs wake up when you try and open the door. And you can't hurt the mobs while they're not alive, so... Hey! So, now we can go there, well, this gate is locked, I don't know if I should go that way, but we're going to go this way, because this is the only way we can go, danger, resident to authorized personnel only, poltergeist, Podcast acti activity here is probably completely normal. Probably. Oh, come on, YouTube. Let me... Let me update the chat, because the chat might be lagging behind. Right. Vent crawling. A uh, very Half-Life thing to do. Uh, your flashlight will sometimes go flickery, which means you just have to sort of turn it off and on again until it stops going flickery. But here's the thing about old air vents, they're not really well maintained, especially considering there's no one alive in the hospital, right? See? <laughs> this is a security checkpoint. An what the? Is required to proceed past this area. Okay, I didn't see that the last time. That didn't get me. I swear that didn't get me. Um, that's the weird thing. All the all the shelves fall out if you hit the. I don't know why. Hey, that's a pistol. You guys saw that too, right? My... It just went, don't turn around, and I turned around and there was nothing there. What just... I've seen that happen a couple of times, and I don't know what happens if you turn around, because I never notice it until it's too late. I'm just, I'm, sorry, I'm just taking my key bindings, because there's a... Ah, okay, so they've completely removed suit zoom. It's not simply that suit zoom isn't working. Alright. Still... God. Ah, shit. Same gun as last. Well, same type of gun. Ah, oh, hello. Are you picking this up? Good. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Dr. Romero, and like you, I'm stuck in this hellhole. There's been complications, and as a result, we're cut off. It's just you and I here, all alone, in a manner of speaking. I noticed. Good. He's unlocking the elevator doors. Oh, shit. That's her signature, by the well, one of them. The lights keep blowing. I'd like to point out, there are... There are two different kinds of mysterious phenomena that are happening. Uh, bonus points if you can work out which ones are which, because I can't. <laughs> and I really want to know. Right, let's get into the elevator. This totally seems safe. Oh, 
I'll just do that for later. Chapter 2, Exposure. Oh, lovely. Well, there were plenty of fail-safes. Uh, I said there were plenty of fail-safes. Surely the backups should have kicked in by now. Right? Right? See? Elevators are totally safe. Ah, oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Well, I've never fallen up an elevator. See, that was totally safe. See, it didn't do that until we got out of it. That was fine. Everything is fine. That included. And that. Somebody is trying to get us to stop. Well, that door's locked. This one isn't. Never Lose Hope Hospital. Radiology Department. So, NLHH. Nla. Nleh. Nleh. There we go. Nleh. Oh, lady. I should probably include an ah! Probably include an ele um an ele a la la a la 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 a la 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 um an epilepsy warning. Radiology department. The door's locked. That's a pair of legs. He's dead. He's not. See, normally they wait until you actually get to the door before they do that. That one doesn't. I can't work out why. Again, flashlight flicker. You just turn it off and on again and it fixes itself. Hey, Doc! Hi. How do you do that? LOL. They're still using the old stuff that can be interfered with. LOL. Radiation. Nothing useful in here. Uh, this one with the door open. Gyrating corpse. This game must be good for necrophiliacs. I'm kidding. Oh, look, we're back here. Uh, let's see, is there anything in the third one? I've only got nine pistol rounds. Hey, pistol ammo. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. Let me out. Let me out. Very cliche. You got anything to say, Auntie? Just that this is cliche. Uh, MRI. We'll skip MRI room. One. I go straight to MRI room two. This fuse will do nothing. I have no idea why he does that, but he does. If you give it a second or two. Come on. Get your undead asses through the door. Shit. 
I'm not too concerned about spending ammo in this because they're pretty good at always keeping you stocked. Pretty good at any rate. There's room one. If we open this, poor little lead fuse. It's okay, little one. I'll take care of you. Let the. Ah. Hey, we got light. Right, let's turn on this MRI machine. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Um... Sorry about that, Windows just threw an error at me. And the door's locked now. I don't, find out, I don't know why this is, again, why is it called Nightmare House? We're in a hospital. You don't live. You don't live in a hospital, do you? Unless you've got something seriously wrong with you. Uh. That was kind of creepy, but probably nothing. Yeah, see, probably nothing. Count the corpses. One, two, third one back there. So... How are you guys doing? Because this isn't that scary, is it? Like, even with the moving corpses. See? It's all quite cliche. All metal pipes in the MRI room. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of stupid of them, wasn't it? Oof. Ah, another monitor. And another camera. Hello. Maybe I wasn't clear enough when I said that you and I were alone here. What I really should have said was that you and I are the only ones left. In a manner of speaking. Can you one of those? Always reload. I wanted to conserve ammo for a bit. That's why I wanted to conserve ammo. I could have probably gone away without four shots due to the head on each of them would have killed them. So, eh. Yes, they're zombies. Oh, let's just walk to the end of this... <laughs> um It'll be alright, let me just Hi, let me just I wanna talk to you. Loading. What just happened? Chapter 3. Maintenance. Note that we've still got all our weapons, so clearly she didn't bother to disarm us. We're no threat. Did you can give her the mattress to lie down on. She did not lock the door. Uh -huh. Never lose hope hospital does not allow patients and visitors into its maintenance sections. 
Only trained members or staff. Untrained staff or patients entering these areas run the risk of electrocution, severe burns, coughing fits, and potential limb loss. Please turn away now. Yes, I am talking about you. Did I mention that I liked her? <laughs> That's why. Now if I could just... There we go. Run! Hey, another gun! I look, there wasn't. There wasn't anything behind any of the washing machines. You must be delusional or something. I'll go back and look, but if I don't find anything, I, um, I'll blame you. I think, ah, there's the pistol ammo. Sorry, I keep doing that. I keep meaning to press just save and then I accidentally press load. Ah. I'm sorry you had to go like that. Still, at least it was painless. And this is one of those things that I don't like. It it does this. Hey, I, did I just get like a static charge from the machine or something? I must. Okay then. Nothing in here. Hey, bullets. Oh, God damn it. Slapping me. Stop locking me in rooms. And stop fucking messing with my head. Here's a bust. Just grab some more. Also, Anti, the thing says there are apparently about three people watching. Uh, I don't know who the other two are. Uh, okay, we seem to have fixed something. How cheap. Why can they turn on as we go? Right, now... Shit, 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 shit. Move, 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 move. That guy's armoured and someone just knocked at the door. Let me go check that that's not a zombie. I'll be right back.
just realised if I'm going to play a horror game, I shouldn't be playing it in the dark. One sec while I go and mute Discord. Discord, be quiet. I mean it, and I don't even know why I'm singing. Right, there we go. But you're right, there is something severely wrong with us people. Uh, that was a guy in, um, in riot armor. <laughs> Which is why it took so many bullets to bring him down. Some kind of security personnel for never lose hope, it seems. Uh -huh. More bullets. Yeah, I could have unloaded another two in team and I'd be fine. That door's locked. Why is it I'm more scared now that I know people are watching? Stop fucking slapping my ass! I don't do ghosts. Robots, sure, but not ghosts. Oh, fib. Mysterious smell of gas. And now all of a sudden it sounds like Metro. For no apparent reason. I don't have to use the flare, I just want to use the flare. See? I like how the flare didn't go out when I got into water. Do you see what I mean? Eh, let's go through here. Spontaneously teleporting in bodies. That's always nice. Open this door. Ah, clearly there's something big and nasty coming around the corner. No, it's the flying... It's Giuseppe, the flying corpse. And the mysterious broken faucet. There's only one thing in here that needs killing and other than me, but I don't need killing. You sure they're a pistol bullet? Oh, I'll take them. Take them. You never know when they might come in handy. Where are they? Over here. I'd say, where's the door I came in through? Ah, oh, I remember this bit. Nothing in here. That door is locked. So is this one? No? There's just nothing in here too. Oh, that was helpful. You turned off my flashlight. It took me a while to realize this, but she's just walking around here. Behind the counter. You can't get behind the counter in this situation. In any case, so... There we go, now my flashlight's working again. You can go behind the counter. By jumping over it, and you'll find that there's absolutely bugger all there. Can't shut the door. Okay. Emergency room. What the? And the way I came in is gone too. I'm going to drop those. This is actually going to be a test. I'm going to see if these are still here. In a few minutes when I come back and the... The freaking music stops. 
Oh, that's not creepy at all. Ah, more of the, uh, more of the, uh, exploding beds that make the loud dump sound. And if I remember correctly, this air vent, uh, doesn't lead anywhere good. And this room reminds me of Submachine. Both in the sounds, the room design, and the behaviour. What do I mean by behaviour? I mean that. Are you counting the rooms? It's not that hard to realize that something's wrong. Yeah. Okay, that was pretty good. The R room door's locked. But yeah, uh... <laughs> this does not look trustworthy in the slightest. Oh no, it's a, it's a loading. Surgery department. Chapter 4, Operation. Look, a SWAT helicopter! It's a black hawk, I think. So I'm getting help. That's good. Ah, oh, more pistol ammo. I didn't need to take this stuff with me. Okay, uh, these doors? These doors are stuck. These doors aren't. Let's walk this way. You remember the ghosts from Metro? These are basically the ghosts from Metro. Don't touch them. this room. Uh, look at the room. No, seriously. I love this room. I probably gave it away then, didn't I? Note that it doesn't go ping pong like it does every other time. This is the one room where it doesn't do that. It just pauses. And drops a frickin' zombie behind you. Access to private rooms of patients in this section is prohibited without proper authorization. Please contact the main desk for details and booking arrangements. Oh, great. Shit. That's better. SWAT team must have entered the building. Is 
If you go in there, it just spawns a zombie behind you. There's no point. There's nothing in there. It does, doesn't it? It's like... The architecture of this place makes no goddamn sense at all. Like, it doesn't even make... It doesn't even make logistical nonsense like Aperture does. Like, seriously, it's just weird. I am actually kind of wondering how much of this hospital is real and how much of it is just in your head. I forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I just forgot it happened. Okay. SWAT team. Four of them. Who just slapped my ass? Wait, what? What? This area is different now. What just happened? What just... Like I said, how much of this area is real and how much of it is in your head? How much of it is just your mind screwing with you? Your perception subtly inserting extra hallways, lengthening rooms. Ah, and there's this area which just is like half a second of scary monsters that you aren't actually going to fight yet running at you, even though they're not going to hurt you. See? It's purely here to scare you. Yes, I know. Shut up, Windows. I don't want to search my computer for something. Oh. Yes. Sorry about that. Because I survived. Why do they always talk through their remedios? He keeps his gun pointed at you. This guy doesn't. Name these guys. Uh, guy with the shotgun is blue. Guys with the assault rifles are uh, orange and green. Isn't there three of them? Orange, green, and white. I I, I nicknamed them based on the color of their um. Save him properly here. Uh, on the color of their voice, but one of them never says anything. So we're just gonna call him black. Sorry, it's just... Yeah, I heard that. Zombie! Get ready for the firefight. Ah, shit, no, that's... 
That's a good cause. There we go. Gotta keep moving. Gonna run back for that ammo that I skipped. That's why I skipped it. <laughs> what the hell happened here? You know that was in there. Oh damn! If I'd known, I'd have used that more. Yeah, you learn something new every run. Where's the flares? Ah, here. Actually, from this angle, it looks kind of like a glowing penis. Knock him down, folks! Guys! Guys! What the fuck? So, the, I, I've never seen that happen before! Kill! Thank you. Door from earlier. Honorable doors. Ah, no, I remember now. It's uh blue, green, orange, and Johnson. Where'd Johnson go? I said. No shit, Sherlock. Okay. Uh, I don't know, and I don't care. Shoot to. Fucking kill! Armor! Tank! Tank him! Tank him! Run! Tactical retreat! Keep moving, guys! Shit! That has actually been the worst time I've ever taken this much damage in bullets here. Uh, Anti, Anti, it's an uh, it, it's one sturdy boy with a with an I, not a Y. One sturdy boy. And for the record, the one sturdy boy. And these guys aren't the hospital SWAT team. The hospital SWAT team are the guys we're killing, amongst other things. The armored ones are the hospital SWAT team. Uh, these comedians are some kind of military. A uh, paramilitary. Chapter five. Dead signal. Oh, that was lovely. They then give you more bullets here, which... Thank fuck. Because I blew most of mine. 
Ah, I forgot about the revolver. Uh, I should have blown a couple of revolver rounds their way. Um, from this point onwards, uh, they're going to do the most dick move in the entire game. And they're going to kill your flashlight. Like, seriously. That's just annoying. It's not clever. It's not even innovative. Entropy Zero does it, and it's not even a horror game. And they're still throwing enemies at you while they're doing that. The burning is, an instant, uh, is not an instant kill, but a guaranteed one. Which means I can let him burn to death. Uh. Unfortunately, this section ends pretty quickly with uh, this. Okay, so there's a burning flare right there. Shit. Double shit. Oh no. Well, hopefully the power will come back on in a minute. Oh! looks on your faces. <laughs> Did I mention that I like the, uh... Did I mention that I like her? <laughs> More bullets. More flares, too. Those are coming handy. They're always going to fall in here. Mannequins! What the fuck was that? No mannequin! I really should have used more magnum ammo. nicely done with the static, by the way. Very nicely done. See, you don't even say, ow! <coughs> F. So, mannequins. Everybody's scared of mannequins, right? Well, I'm not that scared of mannequins. They're just plastic that uh, isn't like me. 
The axe is pretty effective for taking them down, especially considering that guy moved from here to here to try and block me. Did you slap my ass, you, you naughty mannequin? Bad boy. <laughs> I mean, ass slapping is not something I'm normally into, but uh, if you want to diversify, then uh, no. No, you hear me? No. You have to take me out to dinner first. Got it? And you log too. And you. I think you're getting away with. Like seriously. Besides, you haven't got the bits for me. Besides, to drop that off, they're all utter wimps. They keep running away to hide from me. Yeah, I saw that. I don't care. What did I say about slapping my ass? You slap me, I slap back. It's that SWAT team guy who disappeared. He's still alive. Yay. Yeah, hi. Go that way? Okay. Maybe he's wanted the wheelchair and his legs are broken. I'm sure we did a good thing. Yeah, see? He says it's a good thing. He's probably... Fucker. Tricking me into thinking that you're a human won't get you any closer to me either. It's... Dinner or nothing. Okay, telekinetics is kind of awesome, but still, not me. Oh, it's Johnson. And he's dead. And probably missing his Johnson. The poor, poor thing. I'm so sorry for him. Not. See, I'm a bad shot. See? Help me. Okay, that one was pretty creepy too. Freedom of information is always very important to us here in Oh. If you have any problems, trouble, or sudden aching pains, contact our nurses at the nearest nursing station and they will be happy to help you. They would be happy to help you along your way. I can die. You're already mostly dead. Just go the rest of the way. It's not hard. that I love doing that. <laughs> it's like, seriously, you could pay me to do that. Actually, no, you could charge me to do that and I'd still do it. Flat? Flat. the stairs we go, waiting for the zombies, oh. 
This one doesn't jump scare you and it always bugs me for that. Note what it says. Status. Incoming. Full. Outgoing. None. Is this really so hard to override from where you are, Mr. Doctor? I'll just stand that there for a second or two. That's one way to shut down a console. Outrun a fire. Oh shit. Okay, maybe I can't. Um, help! Help! Dr. Romero! Help! Help! She saved me. Maybe she does care. Morgue. I'm not going in there. I'm going through this door. Oh shit, that still leads to the morgue. Um. <laughs> it's a heavily populated morgue. Oh, shit. This is bad. Nurse, would you kindly prep the patient for surgery? You got it, boss. Yeah, see? Ah! Yeah, see, you know these guys are all wearing little armbands with their colors on them. That's cute. I'm sorry. Ah, I remember this bit of the game. No, I don't. I'm confusing this with the later part of the game. Not that far later, though. I know I am. Not that far later. Guess we're not going this way. Have you got anything to say, Auntie? Why are you just watching me bumble around like a lunatic? More magical glowing penis. AKA flare. Guys, you have flashlights.
This sounds like a really weird remix of some Portal 2 music. Good, you won't be able to smell the zombies anymore. On that note, zombies! Um, fucking stay still. I remember these. They weren't though. Let's leave those here for a second. Okay, so these guys are all here. Then we were all in one place. A generation lost in space with no time left to start. Okay. Dead. Still dead. Again, that's just there to screw with you. Down I go. This door's locked. This door's locked, but differently. Note that he reloads his shot. He reloads his shotgun before he fires it. Eh? gun and that I picked a hatchet not a gun thanks thanks blue through here keep moving keep moving Keep going, keep going, keep going. Move! 
Get in here! Ooh. There we go. Ah, on that note, one of my devices is running out of battery. I'll be right back. This won't hurt a bit. It'll be quite the opposite, actually. There we go, little guy. There we go. Just, what do you mean not charging? Break on me, then I'll have to get out the other guy. You won't like. Oh. So which one do you think is going to die next? Okay, it's green. I, I don't need to know that you enjoy filleting doors, thank you. Also, he reloaded his shotgun twice there. Like, if he kept it one shell short, that makes sense. Some police do that, but... This door is locked. So, orange mysteriously opened the door that I couldn't. Green and blue are staying behind. I like or I like orange. It is kind of cute and jokey. It's, it's refreshing. I wish we could hang with this guy longer. Oh, thanks! Okay, let's just... Oh. I'll hit him in the sh I'll hit him in the foot. Oh shit, he died from me hitting him in the foot? Fucking seriously? The foot? Wait, they were here for the girl? I What? That 
box of shells mysteriously is there now. And if I run back, is, is there a... What? What? <laughs> That's just weird. I've never had that happen before. And it's not just... It's not just lick, it's full-on flate, so like he's sucking the door handle. Waiting for it to spurt in his mouth or... I don't know. I'll let you deal with that one. I'll take armored! Shit, this is what member. I just wasted three bullets. I'm actually doing worse this time. You're never too old for your fetishes. Not that I'm one to know. Okay, down we go. Of course you do. Move. Oh good, he didn't blow it this time. Come on, you can't tell me that that wasn't classy. That was nicely done. Ah, okay, so he's not blowing this one. That's, um, a shame for him. I can die. Thank you. Thank you, Alpha. Just... Why did I lose my skills? Why did I have skills? Um... Okay, he's going to breach this door. They're succeeding. I'll take all of that. You go on ahead, I'll just, um... Well... Uh, uh, see, here's the problem, I like Alpha. Such a shame. Blackhawk! doesn't seem possible, right? Oh shit! Um... Blue! 
Lou, you want to come back here? Oh, crap. Move! Move! Ah. I'm also really impressed that he can suck a doorknob while uh, wearing a gas mask. I mean, I, I'm, I'm yet to meet anybody who could do anything even close to that. Ah, uh, chapter seven, requiem. Re 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 requiem. Uh -huh. Now, f fortunately, I am like mostly full on all my guns. And look, he dropped his gun. Sweet. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, good, he's definitely dead. Oh, thank God, the lift still works. I heard every word that man said. I am not a murderer. So we get a choice. seems reasonable. Almost. So I think I'm gonna go. By the way, did I mention I really like the person on the intercom? I mean, they're, they're really cool and all. They're not quite... They're not quite on, like, GLaDOS level, but they're pretty damn close. And I really like that. The only downside is that they're... You... Man... Oh. That's a little detail that's like kind of that that wow. You are now leaving Never Lose Hope Hospital. We hope you had a pleasant and an enjoyable stay. Till we come out. Never Hope Hospital. Not Never Lose Hope. But you, you heard the voice. She said, don't go out. I'm gonna walk out. Oh, shit. Uh, um. I'll go back. I'll go back. I'll be good. I promise. I promise. Please don't hurt me. Please. Ow. You have chosen to escape your fate and pay to the price. You can't escape from Nightmare House. And that's the ending. Bit of a cop out, really. So. Like 
Yes, Ed. I really like the person on the intercom. I'm not that crazy. Hello? That thing looks bad. Romero Logs, page 7. September 14th. I can hear the elevator. They're on their way down here. I just hope the whole thing won't break the moment I start it. I can hear the door. They're here. I just have to... T February 2nd. I'm finally here. Never lose Hope Hospital. It's been a while. It feels like everyone's looking at me. Like they know what happened. What I did. I made so many mistakes, and now she wants me to pay for what I've done. I am out of options. I can't go back. I have to hide here. May 2nd. I've heard that there's a new patient coming in. Someone they've bought from the woods up north. Apparently they found him next to his crashed car. Everything around him was burnt to the ground, yet he survived the flames. I hope my suspicions are wrong. I was right. That new patient. He came from where I was afraid of. It's no coincidence. She knows I'm here. May 7th. I've taken shelter in the storage area under the hospital. No one comes down here. I should be safe. No one's looking for me anyway. Except for her. I was able to bring some of my work with me before I came here. I just can't stop thinking about it. Even though I don't want to, my mind keeps working on it. I feel like there's no turning back. This will protect me from her. I can't make any more mistakes. Not again. July 12th. Been hearing things. Can barely sleep. August 21st. I feel like I've been down here for so long. I can't remember the last time I saw the sun. I can feel her. She's haunting me. I can't take this anymore. August 30th. There's no other way. I have to defend myself. I have to keep her away. I'm turning it on. August 31st. What have I done? Everybody's dead. They knew I was down here. It was self-defense. Yeah, just you just about yourself like that. September 7th. The hospital's empty. Everyone's either long gone or dead except for that one patient. It didn't affect him. It must be her. September 11th. It's been so quiet for such a long time. It's just me and him down here. I can watch him in his cell through the hospital's CCTV. He's been in a coma since he arrived. He seems to move every now and again. Like, it's her. She's preparing him. Waiting for the perfect moment to act. I won't. I can't let her do it. I couldn't wait anymore. I tried to get rid of him. I took a fire axe. September 12. Fire axe and went down to the cells to finish this. The second I opened the door, I felt a chill down my spine. It was her. I couldn't do it. Not like this. I turned around and started heading back. I took a detour through the cafeteria to get some food. Good thing I bought that axe. Joe was still around in the kitchen. Once left the room, tried to attack me. I pinned him to the floor with the axe, though. He was a terrible chef, anyway. September 13th. The core is almost finished. I'll be ready to face her. No more waiting games. This ends tonight. I'll do it the first move. I'm waking him up. September 13th. It worked. He's up and about. I need to get him closer to me. Well, I'll have the higher ground. September 13th. Crap, someone must have detected the core's initial pulse. It's only been an hour and I can already hear a helicopter outside. My God, what did I get myself into? September 13th. You gotta be kidding me! They sent a SWAT team in! I'm in deep shit now. The soldiers are not the real issue. Testing the core, I can take them out one by one, but the helicopter is just out of our range. One wrong move and it flies away, only to return with a retreating army! I've gotta plan this out. Freaking army! I've gotta plan this out. I've got it! That radio tower. If I could disable the hospital radio equipment, I'd be able to use it to boost the range. I can't go there on my own. It's too risky, but. I've got the perfect man for the job. It's done. The helicopter's out of the picture, and so are the SWAT team. But him, no matter what I do, he just won't die. It's her. She's keeping him alive, no matter what. September 13th. He's coming. She's with him. I gave him a chance to leave, but she won't let him. I have to prepare for the worst. The core is finally operational, but unstable. Let's hope the wooden planks I've used support beams will be enough. That's all I could do at such a little time. 
think I can win this. I just can't let him get too close. She can't get too close. That's why I built the whole thing in the first place. I can hear the elevator. Yeah, yeah. Uh, terrible narration from me, but, uh, it'll do. It's a very pretty snow globe. I have to send a few friends to keep you company. Let's see how long you can last against them. That's always a great experiment. What the hell are you doing? Well, even with 50% of the power, every core is still fully functional. I didn't need that shield anyway. I have a lot of other Yeah, every now and again it charges up and does that. The further you are from it, the less damage you take, but it's still a hefty chunk. Two, three, four, five. Run, run, run away. Briefly. This isn't science, it's madness. I'm an Aperture employee. I know science when I see it. Two. I'm trying to see if I can make the boss fight easier later by... Deliberately shuffling. Stay clear. Of the pulse emitters. Okay, so that one there and that one there. Wait, no, there and... Yeah, no, okay, this side next. And retreat! I'll just take that health kit. Where's the other one? There you are! Ah, 
Oh, I've never heard that line. Okay, uh... Here's my battle plan. Wait for the next pulse. Got it. Okay. Three, two, one, two, three, four. I'm ready. Okay, so I better kill the zombies first, so I can actually wait for the pulse. What the hell are you doing? Damn it! I tried. Good things for me. Shotgun. Wait a second or two for the next pulse. Okay. Ah, shit, I'm back at phase one again. Okay, so if I remember correctly, that's on one hit. Okay, so they're both on one hit. Okay, so I have to axe it. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Sorry, it's just, I'm certain I can do this and I want to prove I can. Okay. Wait for the next pulse. What the hell are you doing? Pulse. One. What the hell are you two. Ah, oh, no, you can't destroy them while they're... Ah, oh, shit, okay. Sorry about all that, then. Actually, hold on, can I just... There we go. Yeah, I can. Good things for me. Yeah, I can. Watch me. Well, good night. Ah, great. This is what I mean by there are two different types of... of anomalies. There's the ones caused by the core, and there's the ones caused by her. Door. And a long-ass corridor.
Okay, let's open the door. I told you, mirrors don't work too well on the Source engine, which is why it, um... I voted in the player, unless you have to actually make a player model, which they didn't, so... There's also a bonus map that you have to cheat your way to. Which, um... After this, I can show you guys if you want, after we finish. I like this game. Four, five! Ah, crap, this again. Back to the car, back to the car, back to the car! Thank you. Help me. Uh, have you got anything to say here, or uh, am I just um, am I just being generally annoying? <laughs> Thank you. I am not giving up. What I am going to do is... What I am going to do is I'm going to stand around and kill these things for a few minutes so I can listen to his dialogue because he says some funny things. Like, I haven't heard that line before. Oh, that fell down. That is really satisfying, by the way. I have a question to ask you! That's the one thing you never say. Thank you. She says thank you. And doesn't kill you. That kind of warms my heart a little.
So, here's the thing. This uh, this did not take as long as I thought it would. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot the stream. So, I'm checking the music listings because I'm trying to get a, assemble a soundtrack for this. I didn't assure it. Right. So, I'll tell you what, I'm going to reboot this and then I'm going to break out a different game. But I'm going to reboot the stream so I can change the name of the stream without, uh, without messing up the video. But I'm waiting for this to finish so I can show you the bonus map. Because I think you'll be amused by it, because, um... Your antique. The steam pipe update for breaking the game and destroying my weekends. That's what they freaking end on. But right, so if you go maps and then give it an open parameter, it shows you all the maps that you can play. You can play all the Half-Life 2 maps. What the fuck is 41225? See, they, they did a remake of... Um, they did a remake of the first version, but there's all these Ep 1 and Ep 2. And the credits map, but uh, you go four one map four one twenty two five. What the heck is that? What? What? <laughs> Uh, right. That can't be it, because I know there was another one. I guess that's it. I was mistaken about the bonus map. And that's... Really? I could have sworn... Are such maps, not apps. The guy who I saw do this rebooted the game before actually showing it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna reboot it and see if it it actually works this time. And if not, we'll, we'll officially declare this stream over and start a new. Yeah, you get to the intro. Cute intro. Um. We'll just restart the stream so it registers as a new stream title and then break out. Map. It's just running through the list of maps real quick. Ep1 maps, Ep2 maps. Well, then all the NH2 maps and the NH1 remake. And all the Ep1 maps again, so... It's clearly this this weird What? <laughs> okay. 
okay then. Well, yeah, I'm gonna restart the stream, so it'll go down and it'll come back up in a, few, in a minute or so with a different title. So, uh, see you in a minute. 